Hello guys, привет всем, здравствуйте, добро пожаловать. I hope you can see you shining in my eyes because I am going to be watching Clue. You guys told me that this movie should be very interesting and it should follow all this like mystery drama detective style uh, with a hint of comedy, so that should be that should be amazing. Like is it, is there anything better? I went on IMDb and I checked who is going to be in the movie and well, I haven't recognized a bunch of people because probably the movie is from 1985 so I'm not really familiar with a lot of actors from back then even though I did watch quite a few movies from 80s. It also, like on the poster, I'm not sure how it was actually like connected or not but I think it there is a huge possibility that there is. I think I mentioned it in one or two videos that I really love board games. And Clue is one of my favorite board games of all the time. But my friends think it's boring, so they never play with me anymore. <laughs> but I love like always like making the list and like, okay, so maybe here it's been there. So, but the game did not really become popular among my friends. So I have a tough time finding who would play with me. On the poster, there is a house and it's called Clue and it's about like a, um, a murder mystery, right? So maybe, maybe there is going to be some correlation in that, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, what a mansion! Oh, holy moly, imagine someone owns this. Oh my god, it says based upon a board game! It's based upon a board game! Oh, <laughs> I, yay, thank you so much! Oh my god, okay. It's like, you know, it's like with Toy Story. Where, um, where your uh, toys come alive right here. It's like my favorite board game came alive! Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, hello, puppy. It feels like spider web, the way how they made marble to look like. Like spider web and dust. Interesting choice. New England, 1954. <laughs> nice. Is everything ready? We miss you. You have your instructions. Wow, sexy lady. Everything all right, Mrs. Tyler? <gasps> oh, it is going to have like this... Da -da -da music, right? Da -da -da -da, and then something happens. Okay, they're also guard dogs. You can clearly see, right? It is Colonel Mustard, isn't it? Uh, no, that's not my name. And who are you, sir? I'm Wadsworth, sir. The butler. Would you attend to the Colonel and give him anything he requires? Do come in, madam. You are expected. Mrs. White. Oh my god, we even kept the... I thought that it just must be a coincidence that they kept the names how we are in a board game. I'm so happy right now. This is like with dreams coming true, you know. <laughs> Women be like, hey, oops, I need some help. Oh my God, my car wouldn't start. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Want a lift? Yes, please. Hill house off route 41. That's where I'm going. What a lucky coincidence. Or maybe there are no coincidences. And this is Mrs. Peacock. Did she just smell her boobs? You must be Mr. Green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a god for second place. May I present Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet? <laughs> Find your names beside your places. Please be seated. What's all this about, Butler? This dinner party? You like Kipling, Miss Scarlet? Sure, I'll eat anything. And that's what she said. Hmm? I'm so glad I just ate. <laughs> Before watching the movie, I learned from my past mistakes. Never watch movies hungry. Someone's got to break the ice and it might as well be me. I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here. Oh my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? She's so chitty chatty. My God. Well, we need someone. I know who you are. I work in Washington too. So what does your husband do? Nothing. Okay, that's very going to be a lot of like true. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. So what do you do in Washington DC, Mr. Green? You're afraid of silence, Mrs. Peacock? Yes, but what? No. Yes, she said yes. 
I do know a little bit about psychological medicine. I work for a branch of you know, WHO. You're not going to mention the coincidence that you also live in Washington, D.C.? Wadsworth, where's our host and why we've been brought here? Ah, good evening. You are eagerly awaiting. May I present Mr. Foddy? Hello? No, thanks, Yvette. I just think... Please help yourself to brandy and be seated. Oh. Such a gentleman. I suggest we all leave. I'm sorry, sir. You cannot leave this house. You can't hold us prisoner. Yeah, I would. I would understand that it would create such a bad vibe. You know, if you can't leave from somewhere, it means that you are kind of holding, taking hostage. Oh my god! Oh my god! A Doberman. They actually very sweet dogs, unless trained otherwise. You all have one thing in common: you're all being blackmailed, and none of you know who's blackmailing you. You were once a professor of psychiatry. His license to practice has been lifted. You know what doctors aren't allowed to do with their lady patients? You're gonna know about the character. By taking bribes. Well, it's a vicious lie. Well, I am willing to believe you. I too am being blackmailed for something I didn't do. But I did what I'm being blackmailed for. Provide gentlemen with the company of a young lady for a short while. Is he one of your clients? Tell him it's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? You don't need any help from me. Sir. Oh my god! Colonel, you drive a very expensive car. I came into money when I lost my mommy and daddy. You've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died. That's why he was lying on his back in his coffin. We had had a very humiliating public confrontation. He had threatened to kill me in public. And yet he was the one who died. Not you, Mrs. White. Not you. Oh, his eyes, not you. He was found dead at home. His head had been cut off and so had his... Uh... Oh, wow. Your first husband also disappeared. He was an illusionist. Oh, oh my God. I'm not going to wait for Wadsworth. I'm a homosexual. He's like, what was it in the paper? <laughs> I must keep it a secret or I will lose my job on security grounds. Said that he has to keep it on with it secret, right? But Mr. it's from 1985, so it makes sense. He's the one who's blackmailing you all. Is that necessary, Mrs. Pike? You've all admitted how he's been able to blackmail you. All you have to do is tell the police I have evidence in my possession. This conversation is being tech recorded. Who can guess what's in here? The evidence against us. I could hardly resist putting in an appearance. I was going to be murder weapons. Yes, a candlestick. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. What's this for? Yes, a rope, a rope, a rope. What was there? A dagger, a knife, and um, a, a gun, right? Metal pipe, tube. Oh, it's <laughs> I'm sorry. I just cannot hide my like the reaction that I'm having right now. If one of you kills Wadsworth now, no one but the seven of us will ever know. Oh my god! Is he alive? Mr. Body. Stand Body. back! Oh, who killed him? Look, there's no gunshot wound. Somebody tried to grab the gun from me in the dark. Look, there's a bullet hole here in the wall. See that? Maybe he was poisoned. <laughs> but we all never drinking it. Come on. Ah, sit down. Ah, sit down, Mr. Ah. We'll never know. Unless she dies too. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the ridiculousness in it. City. Open up! It must be the murderer! You locked me up with a murder, you idiot! One of you is the killer! Why were you screaming? I also drink the cognac! Nice, let's keep that! It's not what I'd intended. So you're not the butler? I'm not the butler, but I'm a butler. It was all my idea. What's a weird way to sit down? But not complaining. But just weird. I was once his butler. He believed that you were all thoroughly un-American. Why didn't he just report us to the authorities? And he decided to put his information to good use. I was a victim too. My wife had friends who were socialists. To make a long story short, too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> but Mr. Body, behind bars, it seemed to me the best way to do it. How can we possibly find out which of you did it? Who else is in the house? Only the cook. But the cook was in the room though. She's not here. Well, she is! Oh my god, she's dead! Well, we know she's not the murderer, but why kill Cook? Who would want to kill the cook? Dinner wasn't that bad. If I was the killer, I would kill you next. Oh? There is only one admitted killer. Oh my god! How many husbands have you had? Mine or other women? Yours. Five. Oh, mine no other women? Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? Mine no other women? Five? I suggest we take the cook's body into the study. What? what? The body's gone! Huh? 
He couldn't have been dead. He was. Maybe there is life after death. It's as improbable as sex after marriage. She is really against men, you know? Not like against, but there is a, a different perspective that you don't really hear from women that often, you know? Even now, especially back then. I just want to powder my nose, thank you. <laughs> oh my god! He's attacking her! He's attacking her! Dead! Again! Oh, I Again. I didn't do it! Why would anyone want to kill him twice? I'm trying to find out who killed him, and where, and with what! Yeah! What room? What weapon? And who? I'm sure! Okay, yeah, well... I love it so much. It's all my imagination coming alive, you know? We still have all these weapons. Let's put them all in this cupboard. What do you do with the key? Put it in my pocket. Well, what if you're the murderer? I'm not. We'll throw it away. Good idea. Good idea. Wonderful. Right away. My car broke down out here. I was wondering if I could use your phone. Would you care to come in? Where is it? There's a phone in the lounge. When you finished your call, perhaps you'll be good enough to wait here. Creepy, creepy and suspicious all together. Am I right in thinking there is nobody else in this house? No meaning yes. No, there is or no, there isn't. Yes. Give me a clear answer. <laughs> Certainly. Is there anybody else in the house? No. We split up and search the house. If we split up into pairs, whichever one of us is left with a killer might get killed. You cannot make an omelet without breaking eggs. Every cook will tell you that. I'm frightened of the dark. Will anyone go with me? I will. I will. Oh, hi, honey. Do not worry. Nice. The two shortest together, the two shortest search the cellar, and so on up. Nice, leave it to fate. Oh my god, her face! It's you and me, honey bunch. Who comes in first, who goes from behind, right? No one trusts anyone here. What about the man who asked for a phone? He's still locked up in the room, right? I still think, I think it's just from all the horror movies what I watched, but to me, basement is scarier than cellar. Ladies first. Are you going in there? Yes, are you? Yes. Okay, no one trusts anyone here. I love that. Love the suspense. We should find some clues, right? Oh, a broken glass. Okay, I guess it's been 45 minutes. Oh my god, all the blackmail is gone. But we saw that the key was thrown away though. So someone went outside to take the key? Or there is someone else? I'm a little nervous. And one of them is my old boss from... What? Don't forget to check out my Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to movie. From there, old boss who over... Why no one said anything about this one? Oh my god, it's all planned. It's all so, well, diabolically planned, you know? Mm. Oh my god! Secret passage! I love that. This is so mysterious, right? Ah! The door is locked. Oh my goodness! Yes, it's not that easy as they show in movies. We're doing our best! Help! I've been shot. I've been shot! Why are you shooting that thing at us? We'll get you out! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, lucky that he moved. From the cupboard? But it was locked! No, it was unlocked! Maybe they'll just go away. I'm going to open it. Why? I have nothing to hide! Yeah, and also, it's gonna look more suspicious if we don't open it. Good evening, sir. Oh, that was bad. Did the driver come in here for any help by any chance? No. no, actually, yes. This is so bad. Can I come in and use your phone? Of course. Could you use the one in the... No. Oh, 
Because all the rooms with phones are full of dead bodies, so probably gonna take a while to find a room with no body in it. <laughs> Please help yourself to a drink. Not the cognac. Just in case. <laughs> we should have told him. Let me out of here! You have no right to shut me in! Why are you receiving phone calls from J. Edgar Hoover? I don't know. He's on everybody else's. Why shouldn't he be on mine? <laughs> mind if I look around? Sure. I'll show you the dining room. Yeah, it's going to become less and less room to show. Make it look convincing. <laughs> He's holding the eyes to be opened. <laughs> Look at Mr. Green. It's like, this is something that you can never see anymore. Excuse me. This man's drunk. Dead drunk. <laughs> Somebody will give him a lift, huh? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get him a car. Officer, you're too late. I've seen it all. There's nothing illegal about any of this. Are you sure? Are you sure? May I use your phone now? Certainly. Why did you lock him in again? We haven't finished searching the house. Oh my god, more secret passages! Oh my god! Anyone recognize you? They are not the only ones. <gasps> oh my god! I have a feeling that I'm in danger. Hello? Well, this, he said that he's in danger. I am your singing telegram. <gasps> oh my god! Coming! I'm coming! Oh, it's a shower? Well, a cop. The cop did know. Did had this feeling that he's in danger although nothing shady was really going on in there right it's just like this cop gut feeling okay we don't even seem surprised anymore two murders neither of them shot i thought i heard a gun i thought it i oh the i have you singing telegram three murders this is getting serious Oh, isn't it? It was serious with one murder already. I mean, it only took them six to realize it, it's getting serious now. I know who did it. Follow me. Okay, how does he know? Yvette was here by herself. I hurried across to the kitchen. And then... And it was you! Yes? I asked you for your coat. And poured you a drink. And I introduced Mrs. White to Colonel Mustard. There was a rumble of thunder and a crash of lightning. And Mrs. White sat here. And Mr. Green, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, blackmail. All this came out after dinner in the study. I wonder if he really knows. And Mr. Peacock here. And Miss Scarlet here. Everybody switch out the lights. No more killings, please. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, grand. Mr. Body lay on the floor. Oh, my God. Why was Mr. Body pretending to be dead? The gunshot was intended to kill him, not me. Maybe it's poisoned. She screams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let the uh, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> but one of us wasn't here. And the murderer ran back down the secret passage to the study. So you could be the murderer? Why would I reveal to you how I did it? You could have known about it all the time. But I didn't. I was the cook murdered. You were all implicated in Mr. Body's dastardly blackmail. The cook and Yvette. Well, his accomplices, the cook, had worked for one of you. <laughs> oh, that's your argument. Oh. You knew it, but too. And you also knew her, sir. But where and when was Mr. Body killed? Don't you see? I don't need more. You realize there was only one other person in the house. The the well, where is he? <laughs> He's alive. He's alive, though, right? Yes. One of us slipped through the same secret passage. Mr. Body oh. on the floor. Picked up the candlestick. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> Who wasn't there the entire time in the kitchen? Whoever it was is the murderer. And we put the weapons in the cupboard, locked it, and ran to the front door. <laughs> I put it in my pocket, and someone could take me out of my pocket and substitute another. Colonel Mustard has a top secret Pentagon job. In fact, is a link between them. He's working on the secret of the next fusion bomb. <gasps> Bad luck that that motorist arrived at that moment. It wasn't luck. Everyone who has died gave him vital information about one of you. What kind of information did he have? He was my driver during the war. Oh! He knew that I was a war profiteer. That does not make me a murderer. The cop was from Washington. He was on my payroll. And the singing telegram girl? 
Yes, oh, I forgot about her. She was my patient once. Oh my! I had an affair God. with her. Oh! Oh, it's so interconnected. Oh. Uh. Let's put her in the study with the others. Whoever killed Mr. Body also wanted his accomplices dead. The murderer needed to get the weapons. Easy. He stole the key from my pocket. One of us got away from his or her partner and hurried to the study. The evidence of Mr. Body's network of informants. Perhaps in the fire. The murderer went to the cupboard, unlocked it with the key, took out the wrench, the doorbell rang. Police? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs> Then there were three more murders. Yvette crept into the study, stabbed the cook. Yvette returned to the billiard room. She screamed, and we all ran to her. Yvette hid in the study to check that Mr. Body was dead. He got up. Why? To create confusion. She was acting under orders. It was her employer, Miss Garland. That's a lie. You killed a motorist when we split up to search the house. You got the lead pipe and the rope, strangled Yvette, recognized the singing telegram from her photograph, and shot her. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Oh my god! Half of Washington knows what kind of business you run. I don't think they know my real business. My business is secrets. Colonel Mustard's fusion bomb. My god! So, it is political. You're a communist! No, Mr. Green. I'm gonna sell your secrets to the highest bidder. We could expose you. You don't know what kind of people they have in the UN. I might go up in their estimation. <laughs> but you can pay me in government information. Oh my goodness, she's evil genius. Your moment has come. The game's up, Scarlet. There are no more bullets left in that gun. Two for the chandelier, two at the lounge door, and one for the singing telegram. There was only one shot that got the chandelier. One plus two plus one plus one. Okay, that's it, I'm lost. I have no idea. Oh my god! Police! Okay, why is everyone just like ran through her? Don't hate me for trying to shoot you. No bullets left in this gun, you see? Oh, what's there? Is. Oh my god, he should not be standing near chandeliers anymore, you know? That's how it could have happened. But how about this? The murderer ran across the hall to the stabbing, picked up the rope and the lead pipe. Ah! Ran to the library. Murderer picked up the gun where Yvette dropped it, ran to the door, opened it. The Colonel Mustard wasn't in the cellar. You murdered them all. You were the person who was missing when the cook and Mr. Body were murdered. You told us at dinner that we were eating one of your favorite recipes. Why would I have murdered all the others? In case Mr. Body had told them about you. There's no proof. The gun is missing. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Very well. You've done the world a public service by ridding it of an appalling blackmailer. Why should the police come? Nobody's called them. What? Pretend that none of this has ever happened. I think we all owe you a vote of thanks. For she's a jolly good fellow. Nobody can deny. Oh my god, are we trying to cover the noise that police are going to make? No? I told you I didn't do it. I phone call for Mr. Hoover. I work for him, of course. Who was Mrs. Peacock taking bribes from? A foreign power. But is the FBI in the habit of cleaning up after multiple murder? Why do you think it's run by a man called Hoover? Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh my god, yes! What's worth We got her. We always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? Oh. Are we gonna hear what... But here is what really happened. So, technically, it could have been any one of them, right? I mean, there are so many different scenarios, right? There were three more murders. Stop! Stop. You knew that Mr. Body was still alive. Yes. You fired the gun at him in the dark and missed. He was the missing person in the kitchen after we found the cook dead. How did he do it? I didn't. But you don't expect us to believe that. She informed on you to Mr. Body. Took the key to the weapons cupboard out of my pocket. Then you suggested that we all split up, opened the cupboard, took the wrench, ran to the conservatory. This is incredible. This is incredible. You hurried downstairs and turned off the electricity. You weren't jealous that your husband was shipping Yvette? All of them are murderers. Yes, I did it. So all I of them are guilty. That. Flames on the side of my face. While we were in the billiard room, Miss Scarlet hit the cop. True. Who are you? Perry Mason. The gun is missing. Whoever's got the gun shot the girl. So it was you. Avoid explanation, please. I was going please. to expose you. I know. None of you even met him till tonight. You're Mr. Body. <gasps> so who did I kill? My butler. What? 
disposing of my network of spies saved me a lot of trouble. The police will be here any minute. You'll never get away with it. Why should the police come? We'll stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time. They'll just go on blackmailing us all. Oh my god! I love how they showed that there are going to be, like, there can be multiple scenarios how all of this would end it, right? You choose your favorite. FBI. Oh. That phone call from J. Edgar Hoover was for me. Nice. All right, who done it? He did oh, it. Oh, 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 if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, I did. Okay, Chief, take him away. I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. Oh, I see. So he isn't who he said he is. I want to go and play the game right now. That's it. That's all I was thinking about is that, oh my God, it's, a, it's amazing. Because I do love the game so much. And this movie for me was something that I have in my imagination coming to actual reality. And that's amazing. I never thought that playing... But when I was playing the game that there is a movie that made for it, it just was great, you know, hearing all that, you know, Hearing the names, the rooms, all the murder weapons, and that I love that they ended up with like this could have happened, but what if this would happen? But this is what actually happened, right? There are a lot of twists, and I love that they added a lot of humor because whenever you're playing the game, even though this is a serious game, it always Melons has a lot of laughs, right? Because he usually played with friends. So to me, that was perfect. I didn't expect that it's going to be so good. And I didn't expect to have such a huge variety and range of emotions. But it ended up that way. So I am very excited about it. And I hope you enjoyed the movie as well. And if you want to see my full-length reaction video, follow my Patreon, the link is in the video and it's also in the description. Also, please, 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 please uh, press like, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about my reaction. If you love to play Clue as well and what other others and what other, other favorite games of yours. Um, I also want to say thank you to my patrons and I want to have a special shout out to the following patrons tonight. Paul W, Justin Swan, Jordan Cypress, Keith David White and Bidoy. Thank you guys very, very much and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.